Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia, getting you another video of the 2022 Kia Telluride SX Prestige Nightfall in wolf gray with dune brown. Now, I know we already have one of these, but this one's all nice and shiny and cleaned up. And uh, this is a special video for Kathy and Spencer, who are here from Las Vegas today to actually take delivery and drive this beautiful, beautiful vehicle home. Um, Kathy is one of my biggest subscribers and followers on YouTube. And so she said, Matt, you got to do a video for me. And here I am. Uh, it's kind of more exciting to do it this way, uh, doing the videos with the customers in-house, uh, getting you some live action content. So let's go ahead and dig in here. Maybe the sunlight's a little bit different, but man, is this vehicle just looking absolutely beautiful and pristine right now with how clean it is. So up front here on the Telluride, we've got our amber LED daytime running lights with full projector beam headlights. We've also got some nice front parking sensors on here. LED fog lights, all the black accents from the nightfall package here. So we've got the special grill, black lettering, the black um, encasement around the grill or the trim, front fascia right there, <laughs> body side molding, black rails, black, 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 black. Beautiful 20 inch bezeled wheels. We got the new Kia emblem up here, the front camera for the surround view monitor system beautiful looking vehicle. We've got turn indicators on our mirrors here. We've also got cameras for the side for your surround view monitor system. Keyless entry, blind spot monitors, excuse me, had a hiccup there. Dual sunroofs up above. Got the nice darkened trim around the windows as well. Wrapping around the back here. Got the nice big Kia badge on there. Black Telluride lettering, all wheel drive lettering, all blacked out. Rear black bumper, rear parking sensors backup camera, privacy glass on all your rear windows here. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Loving the wolf gray here. God, this thing is just looking so clean and mean. Props to the detail department on this one, folks. Let me tell you. Hold on. I'm going to adjust something real quick. Bear with me. This is kind of getting loosey-goosey on me. I'm not liking that. There we go. Okay. All better. Trust me, it was worth it. So, Wrapping around here, taking it all in for a second. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, yeah. I'm just kind of having fun with this since we've already done one of these. Kathy, Spencer, hope you're having a good time here with us. Appreciate you guys. Everybody give a big shout out and congratulations to them. Let's go ahead and dig on in. Let's see what we got going on inside here. Again, we've got some blind spot monitors on the outside mirrors. The beautiful dune brown interior with the Napa leather, as you can see here, with the scaled stitching. Nice perforations. Ooh, yeah. Nice milk chocolate there. So, on the door here, we've got memory seating for two, power folding mirrors, power locks, windows, and mirrors. Also included, all four windows are automatic. Nice combo window child lock right here. You've got your Harman Kardon audio system on board. Nice storage in the doors with some bottle holders here. Nice large handles that I love to point out because you don't have to touch the paint at all to open the doors. Put your hand in there. You can see even in there. Nice plastic right there with a little LED light for illumination. Trust me, you want to do that. Anyways, taking a peek inside here. You can see we've... Uh, Already got some nice homey accessories in here, starting to live in the vehicle as they make their trip back to Las Vegas tonight. Got dash illumination controls, blind spot monitors, lane keep assistance, traction control, and your power lift gate here with a 12-way adjustable power driver seat. We've also got their all-weather mats already installed. This is on all three rows for the vehicle. So let's go ahead and hop on in. All right, so. We're in the SX Prestige Nightfall, so we're loaded up with features. We're going to go ahead and back our seat up just a tad here. Checking out the steering wheel, we can see it's leather wrapped, tilts and telescopes from right over here. Just unlock that. Pretty sure these are already set in place, so we're just going to leave it be. Steering wheel is also heated right here. 
On the left hand side, we've got all of our entertainment features for voice recognition, audio sources, uh, volume, tracks and presets, and Bluetooth. And on the right hand side, we've got all of our driving and information tools, such as um, this colorized display here, the smart cruise as well. Um, that's what all this is for right here. Touching on the colorized display on the first screen here is going to be our information screen providing fuel economy info in real time, accumulation info for lifetime, uh, drive info for uh, case by case, and then the digital speedometer as well as our different drive modes. So right now the vehicle is in smart mode. Um, I'm sure that was chosen by design as uh, Kathy and Spencer have already had the opportunity to go over all of their features and functions in the vehicle, get the UVO link set up. Um, we've already got a USB cord right here, so great. This is what it's all about. We really love having you guys come in here, even though we work with people all over the nation and we can ship the vehicle. Coming here and, and taking part of the experience is all a part of purchasing a vehicle. So we appreciate that a lot. Thanks for flying in, guys. Big shout out to you guys. So um, moving over to our next screen right here, we've got our navigation. This will show you turn by turn information or your current direction. Um, if you're navigating, the fuel range marker will also have a little checkered flag next to it uh, showing how far away you are from your destination. You've got our safety and convenience screen showing you the lane keep assistance. If Smart Cruise is active, uh, this will back that little Telluride image up showing you the vehicle in front of you also being registered. Uh, this screen can also show you lead vehicle departure alert if uh, you're at a total standstill and uh, you're not noticing the vehicle in front of you is taking off. So that works in tandem with your auto hold feature which we'll go over in just a second. We've also got our driver attention system paying attention to how you're driving the vehicle making sure you're staying absolutely safe out there. Um, the Telluride can tell you if you need to possibly take a break depending on how you're steering, accelerating, braking, following other cars. Um, all that information is being taken into account by the safety system and making sure that you are absolutely okay, which is going to be you know, crucial for Kathy and Spencer as they're making their way home uh, back to Vegas. I'm sure they'll make a pit stop somewhere, but you know, just in case, this vehicle's looking out for you. We've also got our all-wheel drive screen showing you power output as well as the steering angle of the front wheel here. As you can see, that's rotated to the right now. And then we've also got our onboard tire pressure. Now we're going to go in here into the settings and just check a couple things and see if they got to get those things activated. Yep, we've got our smart lift gate automatically activated. One touch turn signal. We didn't really touch on that too much, but it's okay. I'm going to leave it alone since uh, they've already had the opportunity to go through these settings. Got the welcome sound. We're going to turn that on just in case, you know. And you know what? You know, let's just let's just go ahead and change this to seven. Kathy and Spencer, I'm changing this to seven flashes, so that way when you nudge your wand here, it's going to keep your surround view monitor on which is a feature I'm showing you guys now um, it'll keep it on for seven flashes instead of three love that feature I use it all the time in my stinger okay so we've got all that figured out that's pretty much all we need to mess with right there touching back on the smart cruise you activate with this button you can set or resume or cancel and you choose four different following distances right here activating this feature is going to um, work with your lane keep assistance and also activate lane follow assistance which is going to keep you automatically centered in the lane the smart cruise also has navigation based cruise control curve which will slow the vehicle down as it's taking you through certain turns using the navigation um, to slow you down or if it knows you're headed downhill it's going to slow you down too it's it's really cool you also have the highway drive assist where all that comes together so all you have to do is just set the cruise control to the speed limit and if you like to set it faster than that that's fine it's still going to slow you down through those turns you don't have to worry about it well it's also maintaining that following distance for you too so it's really cool uh, that's going to be it for the steering wheel uh, left hand one you've got automatic headlights with your automatic high beams your fog light controls are right here and then on the right hand wand here you've got your wiper controls now you have automatic rain sensing wipers on these so I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on we saw just one swipe there that's the only swipe we're gonna get out of these and uh, just make sure Kathy and Spencer um, if you guys go to a car wash I hope you don't um, pay for a detail service on this beautiful vehicle uh, make sure you turn that off before you go into the car wash okay 
And then rear wipers are right here, of course, with their respective sprayers. Now up above, we've got the premium headliner we can see a little bit right here. Um, the manual sunshade for the sunroof right here. And the sunroof controls located right here. We've also got the sunshade, automatic sunshade back there for the fix, fixed piece of glass. Go ahead and just leave that open right now, let some natural light get in here. We can go ahead and close this up. Up above, we've got some lighting controls. This is your dome light. This will turn all the lights on on all three rows. This is your door light button. Oh, I'm going to turn that off real quick. I think I caught that. Opening the door, see those automatically turn on and then slowly dim after all the doors are closed for you. Got a nice sunglass holder right here that is felt lined. Our microphones for the Bluetooth system. And then we've got our auto dimming rear view mirror with home link garage controls. This is really easy to set up. Um, typically, you hold these two buttons until you see a green flash, have your garage clicker nearby, press and hold the garage clicker and the corresponding button. You'll see another couple flashes. It's really easy. Or you can just go to homelink.com to get that set up. Uh, owner's manuals in the glove box will also provide you with that information. Moving down here, we've got the entertainment system. So um, this is your home screen right here. Uh, Kia has updated it to show the temperature and location of where you are in the top right over here. We've got a glimpse of the map, date and time, and your media information will pop up right here. You just swipe on over there where you'll have access to your map, navigation, phone. Phone projection is for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and I'm sure um, they've been shown that feature based on where this cable is plugged into. You can record voice memos. You can also put the vehicle in a valet mode with your Uvo Link features active, and I didn't even touch on those buttons. Uvo Link is right here. It's now called Kia Access. Uh, the 23 models will uh, have the updated text for this here, but you get this app for a year for free where you can remote start, set the temperature, set the seats. Um, for their heating and cooling before you get in, make sure your vehicle's locked. Uh, the vehicles with the 360 cameras can actually uh, take a surround view image of the vehicle. At least my Stinger can, so I believe this can too. Uh, 22 Telluride owners with the most updated software for their vehicles and their phone. Let me know about that in the comments. You can also activate your passenger talk here, which turns the vehicle into a PA system inside, so that way you can have clear communication with everybody in the vehicle. Maybe you're giving them a tour or you're just hollering at the grandkids or something. You can hit end right here, or if you're the driver, you can hit end right there. You can see we have dual application use right here. You can swipe down or up to change this content. Nice, they've added some things over here too. Neat. Moving back, we can also put the vehicle in a quiet mode, which will reduce all the volume down to seven and move it to the front speakers only. We've got rear climate control. HD radio data has nothing to do with the radio. It's traffic, weather, and travel information, synonymous with that icon right there. You've got your radio, and let's go into the settings here. We're going to show you guys a couple things. And Kathy's already watched all my videos. She, she already knows about this, but you know, we're just going to go in here, go to the ambient lighting, go over to the brightness. Let's go ahead and jack that up. Kathy, ah, the violet cloud. Just feel like you're a violet cloud, you know, positive feelings. All right. <laughs> we can set that right there. And if we turn the lights all the way on real quick to trick the vehicle, we can see we've got that nice, slightly pink lighting under the dash here and all four doors. It's really easy to see back here because it's even darker. But you can choose any of these preset colors and what it, you know, may make you feel. Uh, they've added these descriptions recently. I think that's cute. You can also set a custom color if you want to as well. I think there's, um, what's the number, 52 different colors right here, maybe 64. Um, but yes, so that's there for you. We've got that set. Hopefully you guys enjoy that because it looked like it was on the default settings there. Um, we can also back out here, go into the sound. Let's make sure our quantum logic surround is turned on so you get that authentic multi-dimensional surround sound experience featuring patented signal extraction technology neat Harman Kardon okay moving on we can also change our screen layout display all kinds of other things on here but we're gonna back out of there that's pretty much it for the entertainment system moving down we've got
centrally located analog controls are climate. Right now we've got the front climate set to 73, rear climate is at 77. We can always put this on auto and sync to sync it up to the driver and it's just one single dial. All you have to do is set a temperature that you like, let the Telluride worry about the rest. Heated wheel, again, heated and cooled seats. I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on because I'm a little toasty right now. We've got our power center right here with a 12 volt, two USBs, one for data and charging, one for dedicated charging and the wireless charging pad just below right here too. Tidbit, the front doors need to be closed for this wireless charging pad to work. We had a little training moment with one of my salesmen today with uh, one of my other Telluride clients that they were assisting. So front doors need to be closed. Your wireless charging pad um, is in fact working. So just make sure you check that out, okay? No worries. All right, moving on to the shifter right here. We've got park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Let's go ahead and put the vehicle in reverse for a second. Rear mirrors will tilt down if you have this uh, mirror selector in the left or right position, or if you don't want that, just set it to the center position. But you can see that gives you a very nice view of your rear wheels right there, bunk. Okay. And we also have our surround view monitor system that we can check out here. So. Nice high definition backup camera here, projected pathing with a digital representation of the Telluride on the right here with pathing over there as well, showing you exactly where you're gonna end up at. We've got a nice rear overhead view for a tow package right here. Blue lines on any screen represent the true sides of the vehicle. So you can see this here as well. We can also check out the rear wheels if we need to and make sure we're not hitting the curb or anything. Um, I'm not sure why I'm not using this more in my Stinger um, because I had a situation last night where I was like, oh, I don't like how that looks. So I could have used this. So yes, pretty cool. Now we're gonna put the vehicle in drive, but first we're gonna turn on auto hold, which is right here. Press that and we'll see that text right there in the top right corner of the colorized drive display. Put the vehicle in drive, it's now green. I can now take my foot off of the brakes right there, okay? So now you can see our front camera. The pathing has also switched directions here. And again, we've got a nice global overhead view with tire pathing. We can also check out those front wheels to see where we're at, make sure we're not too close to any curbs or anything like that, okay? Go ahead and put the vehicle in park. Now down here, we've also got our different drive modes. We saw it was in smart mode earlier. We've also got sport, comfort, eco and a dedicated snow mode with an all-wheel drive lock for 50-50 front and rear power distribution. Smart mode is going to change through the ladder of these three driving modes right here for you based on your pedal usage, which is great. I drive both of my Kias in smart mode because I want to save as much fuel as possible these days, but sometimes I get up on it. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this back in smart mode, turn that off. We've got start stop technology that most of you need to learn to love and build a relationship with now. This is going to turn the engine off and save you fuel with the electronically controlled starter, the variable valve timing and everything that is advanced technology in vehicles and mechanical engineering these days. Okay. Um, this will only activate if your cabin temperature is good and the engine temperature is good. If those can't be maintained in extreme temperatures, people in Arizona, people in Nevada, you know, or in colder areas, it's not going to turn the vehicle off, you know. So just know that. It's a smart car. Let it love you a little bit. Let it take care of you. Electric parking brake right here. Cool thing about this, if the vehicle's in drive and say uh, you have your auto hold on, but you forget that it's on and you're just like, la -da 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 -da. electric parking brake is going to automatically engage and let you know, hey, you need a, you missed a step there. It'll take care of you, prevent any rolling. So just know that's there. You can turn on and off your 360 camera system. If this light's on, it'll turn the camera system on at low speeds, less than five miles an hour. Center console. Got the USB port in there, nice little sunglass holder, some nice storage. Got a lockable glove box. Novi needs to get the manuals in here real quick, but no problem. No problem, it's all coming together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle off real quick. Two things just happened. The welcome sound um, saying goodbye to you. And also the easy recline feature um, in the driver's seat, scooting me back and out of the way. So 
you know, just in case. You've got uh, a couple of two different sizes and heights that are needed to move in and out of the vehicle. It's nice and easy. We're gonna check out the back seat real quick. Nice captain's chairs here, sunshades. Heated and cooled seating on your Prestige model, always nice, yes. Same large handles for, again, nice easy closing without having to touch your paint. Smudge it, move dirt around on it, less scratches, more happiness. Dual cargo bags. We've also got nice bag holders on the back of both seats, USB ports, cup holders. Got your 12 volt outlet and the Prestige pack also gets you this nice power inverter too. Checking out the all weather mats on the second row. Here's your captain's chairs. Got some nice fold down tech right here on the armrest. This ratchets into place so you get the proper angle for whatever your seating arrangement is at the time. Need to get into the third row? No prab. We got the one touch slide technology right there for you. Two buttons right there. You can see we've already got some luggage in here and stuff properly using this third row. So we're just gonna keep this down for now. Um, I've got plenty of other videos showing off the third row. So just keep that in mind. We've got USB ports back here, extra speakers, storage, lighting. There's ventilation up above and down below on all three rows. Let's see if we can sneak it down there. There's a little vent down there. It's down there somewhere. Anyways, but moving this back, ooh, that's really all we need for that, right? Bam, touchless, baby. We can go ahead and lock this up. Oh, can't do that. That long beep means, hey, you left the key in the car, bozo. I'm gonna take that out. Keyless entry. Automatic power folding mirrors. All right, we're gonna just step away real quick, trick the proximity system. I wanna give you guys a quick smart lift gate demo here. Okay. Got my key right here featuring remote start and some nice buttons on the side there. You can go ahead and walk back here. I'm not touching anything. I'm just gonna move back here to the lift gate. Four beeps with four flashes together will open the smart lift gate. You can control the speed of the lift gate as well. So now you can just open this up. Um, you know, if your hands are full or anything like that, um, or you got gloves on, you know, it'll be just nice and easy for you to open your lift gate there. And then once you've got all your stuff stowed in there, bam, just go ahead and close that up and you're good to go. That's right. So last thing to talk about here real quick is going to be, oh, one more time. You can set the unlock feature to unlock all the doors all at once if you want to, or you can do the two press unlock. Totally up to you. We've got an eight-way adjustable power passenger seat with some extra storage on the sides here. And we're done. All right, awesome. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate you once more for checking out another video. Make sure you like this and share this with your friends and family. Um, leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you. Most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the videos I'm uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. Also, this video is going to be uploaded to the Kia of Columbia channel. Um, friends and family and new fans, please head over to the Kia of Columbia YouTube page and subscribe over there if you would. I'm trying to grow that channel for the store because that's part of my job now. So I'd appreciate all your support and help in any way that you can provide it. And if this video has helped you make a big buying decision or purchase, um, you know, and you want to thank me for my time, even though I'm not a salesman anymore, and you'd like to maybe work with us, I mean, you can still do that too. But if you've already gone a different direction and you're thankful for the information, feel free to leave me a super like or uh, utilize the tip jar connected to my PayPal in the about section or the cover art of my channel. It's greatly appreciated and uh, I'm very thankful for that for those of you that do send those little tips my way. Thank you so much. Another big shout out to Kathy and Spencer. I bet you they're finishing up in the business office right now. Congratulations guys. I'm so thankful for you guys coming out here. Thankful for all your time and patience. This is definitely not a quick process with 
how in demand this vehicle will always remain to be because it's just that awesome. Matt Croissant, Key of Columbia, your internet manager and dedicated content creator. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a wonderful evening, guys.